Hey everybody, John Van Dyke here from New Jersey Exposed. Today is Friday, May 3rd, 2024. Time is 7.23 p.m. And yes, that is Jersey time. Okay, well, we got another one of those government heroes. You know, the type that are always, always out there risking our lives. And that means your life, my life, and everybody's life as he's out there protecting and serving the government. And when they have nothing to do on their time off, they seem to find other things to do that are contrary to protecting either the government or us. This one comes out of Gainesville. I'm assuming that I'm assuming that's uh, Georgia. Well, we'll find out when we read the story. But uh, anyway, it reads as follows. This story came out on April 18, 2024. I know I'm a little behind, had things to do, so we're trying to catch up now. This was reported on the Gainesville uh, register.com and it reads as follows Gainesville PD officer arrested on child abuse charges anybody surprised nope because it's the number one crime that police officers in America are being arrested for child sexual exploitation related crimes and that can be molestation underage sex downloading uploading child porn and producing child porn here he is, right there. Let's take a look at him. Look at that. Oh, look at that hero there. Wow. Don't you feel safe knowing he was out there? Look at him. He doesn't look too happy now, does he? The gig is up, right? Okay, let's find out what happened here. Let me put the spectacles on. And let's see what happened here. Okay. Uh, a Gainesville police officer was charged Thursday with child sexual abuse. According to a press release from Gainesville Police Chief Kevin Phillips, Officer Dustin Keith Duncan was arrested following an indictment for alleged indecency with a child by sexual contact, a second-degree felony. His bond is set at $40,000. Duncan sub sub subsequently resigned from the department per city policy. What a surprise. See, by resigning, he doesn't have to involve himself in any department. Uh, investigations. He can say, screw you, I'm out of here. And wait, you'll find out. He doesn't have that much time in. Upon learning these uh, investigations, uh, GPD took immediate action to remove Duncan from duty pending the outcome of the investigation, according to Phillips. And let's see, due to the nature of the offense and the location where the alleged incident occurred, Cook County Sheriff's Office has taken over the investigation. Hmm, did it take place in a police car? Hmm. Doesn't say, though. Okay, let me get my disclaimer voice on, because these stories always have disclaimers. The Gainesville Police Department reaffirms its commitment to upholding the highest standards of integrity, professionalism, and accountability. Any behavior that violates our code of conduct, the law, and in turn the trust placed in law enforcement officers will not be tolerated. Philip stress. <laughs> and of course, no further details were available Thursday morning because it's an ongoing cover-up. I mean, investigation. It's funny how they, they can't talk about anything. So, I mean, why can't you get on there and just say, you know, we got touchy-feely with a, with a girl or a boy. I got a feeling it's probably a boy uh, in a police car or something. But anyway, it's a short story, not a whole lot. I looked around, there's no updates on it, but it doesn't matter. You know, it's just another one of many stories that I do every week of these heroes. What's going on with my camera there? And of these heroes out there violating our children, which is why I get upset and I have to say my say crap on their Facebook pages when they put pictures. Let me get a little light here. Maybe that'll work. I don't know. Uh, when they put pictures up there of them with children, you know, they, they exploit them. They You know, they're either... Pictures of them, a lemonade stance, of course, that time of year is coming around. Ice cream with a kid, you know, that kind of crap. All the, you know, they're always exploiting them that way. And, of course, the, the back to blue people think that's so wonderful when they see them with pictures of cops. But uh, if I see the posting, I will say on there, well, you know, another creepy picture of a cop with a little kid. And then you put the thing in there about how it's the number one crime. They don't like that, but that's okay. That's what we need to do. Put the link in the description if you want to read it. Uh, John Van Dyke for Ninja Exposed. Till next time.